Um, I'm almost at 40 subscribers. Yay! That to me is a lot. It's super, super sweet to have an audience of 40 people. 40 people, the number, you know, people, there's millions of subscribers for some other people. There's thousands and whatever. To me, you know, 40 people is a lot of people. If you fill a room with 40 people, that's a lot. My apartment won't be able to fold that many people. But that's amazing that you guys have been sticking around watching my videos. And it really makes me happy. And I really wholeheartedly, really, truly, truly, truly am thankful for every single one of you guys who just stop by and watch. Or people who just come by to watch. If you're interested in the figure just not in my channel, thank you for just clicking on the video. And I am so happy for that. Welcome back to another episode of Figure Review. And today we have another figure with us today. We have the amazing Edge Lord himself, the king of all edge, king of all darkness. It is Edmund Dantes. He is from Faker and Order. He is the Avenger class. He is a beautiful, beautiful piece. This is not mine though, sadly. I didn't pre-order him. Um, this is my girlfriend's figure. And this figure is absolutely amazing. You can see there's a huge window and it looks fantastic, like amazing. So a little bit backstory on this character. Um, if any of you who don't play Fate Grand Order, for one, it is a, it's a huge franchise. Uh, there's manga, there's anime, there's movies, there's a t you know anime series. There's like the third season happened maybe like a year or two ago. And it is also a mobile game. And it's an amazing game. I have the game. And I'll put here some shots of how the game looks and everything. It's by far one of my favorite games to play. Super, super addicting. It has a gotcha kind of gameplay to it. So you get these quartz and quartz used to buy a certain S rank characters or certain characters that come up for a limited time. You, you basically summon them, is what I'm trying to say. And. Basically, Edmund here is a five star, so he's really hard to get. He's really rare. He only comes in certain events, certain times of the year. And I have yet to get him. Kiana has yet to get him. And she has his figure, so that's close enough, right? So I'm going to be showing you guys the figure, showing you the box, and going over a little bit of backstory with him. So I personally. I love Edmund, but I don't know much about his character. Keanu knows a little bit more. So I'm kind of going to read a little bit for you today. On, you know, his little bit of his backstory. Because you're not going to find him in an anime. He's only through the game. And if you're a huge Fate, Order, uh, Fate Grand Order fan, FGO, you're going to know everything about him already. So, his name, like I said, Edmund Dantes. He, his alignment is chaotic evil. So he is not a good guy. Clearly, but he has he, he used to be a cool guy from my understanding and I'm sorry if any of this info is wrong I'm kind of going by his sight so this this could be wrong but he is one of the most pro uh, prominent Avenger classes um, he's mostly known by in popularity by Count Monte Cristo and I'm sorry if I say anything any of these uh, names wrong or the king of the cavern so he also goes by those names too um he's also oh he's a, a little bit of the backstory where he's originated from he's french for one amazing um he was imprisoned and tortured in this tower the site doesn't go into too much backstory about what happened but all we know is that 
there are fault he was falsely charged and he was like through he's been in hell you know he's been tortured really really badly but his mind never broke you know he has a mind of steel he kept living through all that pain then eventually he stumbled upon at least what the site says the treasure of Monte Cristo an island and he used that power to swoop down onto Paris and he dragged everyone that betrayed him into hell, basically. At least that's what the site is saying. That is, I mean, that's cool. To me, he reminds me like, he's he's like the king of edgelords, in my opinion. You know, people who know like, uh, what's his name from Boku no Hero. I keep saying Tokuyami, but that's not his name. It's uh, Fukutomi, yeah. Him, you know, people call him edgelord and then uh, there's just a lot of other characters that are edge lords, but to me, Edmund is like the king of all edge, king of all darkness. Um, he has a lot of quotes about, like, he hates everybody, you know, this is, uh, hell is this, hell that. He's a real cool dude, at least from what I've seen in the game. Again, like I said, never owned him as a servant in the game. I need to get him, but he's really hard to get. If any of you guys play FGO, you know how hard it is to get a five star. And people gamble their lives away in that game. I've never, I'm not at that point yet. Right now we got a, fresh, a special wife coming. And I need to try to get her in the game. Because all my quartz are all gone. Anyway, back to Edmund. So I'm going to show you the front side of the box. This is the panel on the side. It's a real cool portrait of him. He's so cool. Again, you can see it's Avenger class. Edmund is name. He is a 1 8 scale. This is the back side. Still amazing silhouette of him. Another picture with his mantle on. He's so cool, badass looking. And then there's the front again. So I'm going to take him out the box, put him together. I'll have him in his mantle position and without his mantle, just so you guys can see everything, what he looks like completely if you guys want to change him around. And I'll be right back. Be back, guys. So I got him out the box. He's absolutely fantastic. Like, there's no amount of detail the altar cannot sculpt on the figure. This figure is amazing. So, we're going to go from uh, top to bottom and just go over every little thing we can. So, he looks fantastic, like I just said. And another thing I forgot to note um, when unboxing or said earlier on, altar is making, making a line of some of these characters. So right now we have out who for pre-order is Arthur, who is another, I believe, five-star saber. And then we have uh, Merlin, who is a five-star caster. And I pre-ordered him, and he's crazy expensive. Like, he is up there in price. People were not really happy with that price range he was on. But to me, he was worth it. His hair scope was amazing. Like, oh my god, I've never seen hair that looks so good on a figure. So I can't wait to get him, but I forgot to note that earlier on. So back to Edmund, he's out the box looking sharp as ever. This dude is so handsome. Oh my god. Okay, so his hat is not removable. It's completely trapped on his dome. So his hat, if I can get a close up on it, amazing. You guys can see from way far away that highlight. And that shape, it looks worn. He's been in battle. He looks amazing. Then we're going to go to the side. He looks so good. His hair, when I, um, when I first saw Edmund in the game, in the art style that um, he comes from, it's from the same, I don't know the creator's name, but the same person who made uh, or the art style of Danganronpa. If you guys never play Danganronpa games, you need to. They're fantastic games. You gotta put a lot of time into it though, but the stories are really good. The third one, not as much. At least people say it's not as good, but the characters in that game are really good. At least I think so. So when I first saw it, I was like, oh, that looks like the Danganronpa art. And my girlfriend told me, yeah, it is. It's the same dude. He also did a design for, um, not Medusa, sorry, Cleopatra, that I'll post a photo up on here too. But I thought that was amazing that there's different artists from all over and they're kind of drawing into Fate. So Fate is really, really popular in Japan, like crazy popular. It's becoming really popular over here too. So again, I recommend go check out the game. It is amazingly fun. Go do it. 
So going down to his jacket and his long scarf. Again, I don't know too much about Dante. Too much. I don't have him in the game. And he's not... He, I love him, but he's not like a super favorite of mine. So I don't really do too much research. But this, I think, is one of the source of his powers. At least... In the game, I'll post some pictures here. His scarf, or whatever you want to call that, it kind of warps around him because there's different versions when you level them up. Ascensions, Ascensions yes, what you call it. Um, it changes. So this is his first stage. Well, he has a mantle on the. F no, sorry, his mantle is the third one. The first one, he's like this. The second one is a picture I'll show here. It's kind of wrapped around his arms like claws and everything. It's really cool. Then his third, he has his mantle, which I'll put on in a second. And it. then he has another one that's like a summer edition, and I'll post a photo here of it. It's really cool. I would like a figure of that too, but I'm happy with just him getting something in general. So again, this is fantastic. You guys can see how much de de deep depth of feel that has. Nice cool shading, a nice amazing color. The nice detail, the trim on his coat and the buttons. Oh my god, this is fun. Like, it's so beautiful. He is fantastic. He looks so sharp. He's ready for a night on town just to murder and do whatever he needs to do to get his revenge. It's so cool. I love it. But I love his voice too. He's just a real cool dude. Even though he's like, you know, people, some people, like my brother. Just don't really care for villains too much. Villains are the best kind of characters in my opinion. Especially if you watch Boku no Hero. I love a lot of the villains in there. So that's so cool how they have his legs sculpted here. Again more highlight here going down. It's a nice uh, fade of gray. It's lighter lighter then it gets real dark here at the ends. The ends. Excuse me. Then his hand how it's sculpted. You can kind of see the camera may not be able to get it camera may not be able to get it but they really kind of drew his uh the joints so you know when you move your hand you will see that line on your palm or your back side of your palm they kind of sculpted that too so all the muscle that's right there the joints his knuckles his fingertips all that it looks amazing my camera just can't pick it up very well so i'm sorry about that then the creases on his pants looks so good the paint job altar is one of my favorite companies their prices are ridiculous sometimes but to me it's worth it at least in my opinion some people either they don't uh they don't like the prices or people love the prices you're never gonna get someone who's like oh that's too that's just right you know altar it depends on the character and the franchise if you're an idol master lover and you're getting a figure from altar you're going to be paying a lot of money if you like fake grand order this is a huge franchise there's figures countless figures of characters you're going to be paying a lot of money and i believe edmund edmund was like originally like, he was only like around 140 but his his figure skyrocketed price yeah so so his yeah. Kiana was saying, if you guys didn't hear, um, his price originally uh, was like 140. Now he's like okay. now he's up there. He's like 300 or more, I believe now. So if you haven't bought this figure, I suggest doing a lot of research and trying to find it cheap because this figure is beautiful, but it's not 300 dollars beautiful. I'll tell you that right now. As much as I love Edmund, I'm not gonna pay 300 bucks. Now, if you're gonna bring in like a wife of mine, well, he's 300 now. When he went up higher, he was 200. Now okay. he went even higher. So. so he's he's escalating slowly. So Kiana's real lucky to get this figure now. So I recommend you guys try to find it cheap if you really love Edmund, or if you just really want to support Fake Grand Order in general, so we get more characters. And I can't wait for more people to be sculpted. I hope more girls, because I'm seeing... I mean, there's Saber, of course. There's Lancer. There's a whole bunch of other characters. Um, but And I have, I'll post some pictures up of some figures I have ordered that are coming in. And I'll do a review on those. But I really want... This, I forget her name. She's a new character in the game. And there's she... I don't know if she's popular in Japan, but I've... Like, oh my god, I love her so much. Kiana has her on my team. She was the Valentine... Um, yeah, she she's was a Valentine's Day. She's a oh, caster. She's like one of the first uh, 
as the first poet. She was known as the first poet. I was going to say Japanese poets, but no, she, she was like one of the first poets, and I she love her is so much. The first poet, not one of. She was the first. Oh, she Kiana said she was one or is the first poet, but I love her, and I hope there's a figure of her. I hope Alter or someone picks it up. Fingers crossed. So I'm gonna get his mantle on, and I'll be right back. I'll have his other expressions and everything on too. Be right back. And guys, here he is with his mantle. It's honestly my favorite part out of the whole figure. It's huge. He looks so good. The shading is crazy. The the layers of his mantle, the creasing, the sh the shadow, the shadows, the highlight they put. The like it's all amazing. So all down here, it's dark. The whole creasing, like, all everything down here. In between here, all dark. It's amazing. It's like a dark, dark green. Then we have a symbol in the back, which I believe is the same as the amulet here. That's what I'm going to call it. I believe this is like the source of his power. It comes from this. Because every form that he has, it is, uh, that's always on his chest. Um, some of you guys that are a huge fan of Edmund, let me know in the comments below more about him. Because I like to learn about him. He's a real mystery for me. Besides what I explained to you earlier, because that's really all I know about him, too. And getting him around. It just has, it's an amazing motion. It really looks like he's stepping forward and wind is blowing across underneath it. And it really has a nice flow to it. It's amazing. It's fantastic. This figure, for the price, originally when he was $140, $150, um, it was to me, even though I didn't pay for it, it was worth the price. I think it's worth it. Your his face is shiny a lot, and I'm sorry about that. That's kind of the lighting there. Yeah, I'm so sorry about that. He looks like super pale, but he is not as pale as what you see on my camera. So, I'm gonna show you his hand expression. Is like anger, clenching fist, and then I'll go into a bit more detail about the base because I didn't go over that yet. And then we're going to give it a few shots so you guys can see how it looks closer up. So, stepping aside him. We're going to go over this piece again, at least a little bit better. His amulet here. This part, of course, goes around his neck. And this thing is crazy, crazy uh, coloring, crazy shape, crazy uh, sculpt. This is a, all one piece. It's not anything glued together. It's one single piece here, which is amazing the coloring and shading of all this is amazing fantastic this figure this one piece oh shoot sorry this one piece alone is just great it's really it has a little weight nothing crazy heavy though then going to his hand this is on the uh left side let me see again you guys can see what I'm talking about there that he's clenching his fist and all the muscle and joints all right there they really sculpted that which looks amazing his fingernails are all nice and clean this is the piece here his cuffs such amazing detail there has a nice clean sculpt there's no paint residue I'm seeing it's all one solid piece it's amazing like alter you're never, at least for me, I have not yet been disappointed on. So then this is the base. It is like a brick. I was going to say concrete, but that's two different things. A brick pavement that he's walking down. It has a nice, I probably should take him off for this. Oof, there you go. Sorry, big boy. Put you down. So his base, it's pretty big. Size in my hand. And it's nice shading underneath. It's clean plastic. It's really good. The pattern, the amazing depth, is cracks all along the brick. Like it's been faded and they're uh, withering. And then all around the rim of this space, it's like a dark green, like his mantle color. So I like to imagine he's under a spotlight in France and he's walking down a pathway and he's ready just to kill what I really wish Ultra would have done though is made these metal I don't like plastic pegs on my bases because if anything happens this thing he can he has weight he's not a light figure and if anything was to happen 
you know, he can easily break off one of those plastic pegs and how are you going to stand him? That's what I always get worried about when it comes to figures putting plastic. That, that happened to someone on MFC and they were complaining. Also, well, I guess it has I happened already. Laugh, though, they tried so, it's them. just... Sorry, Keanu. <laughs> ranting over somebody. But yeah, that's basically it when it comes to Edmund putting them together. Like I said, I recommend if you guys are a huge Fate Order, Fate Grand Order fan. Um, if you love Edmund also, buy his figure. He, it's worth the money, the least the 140 not the 300 If you see him for that, I would just wait and see if someone sells them. And hopefully they're reasonable. Because that's ridiculous. I mean, f like I said, fake grand order is expensive. The more expensive and popular the franchise, the more uh, the price is going to go up. Like Idol Master. I mean, Miku sometimes, but... Idol Master. I don't matter, it's like ridiculous crazy. You guys go to conventions and stuff, which I go to, which I'm probably going to do a video on that whenever I go to one soon. But, um, yeah, you're going to see so much I don't master, so much anything of them. And you're going to see a lot of fate, too. So, yeah, I recommend this figure. It is a... The only thing I don't like is the pegs, like I said. Everything else is fantastic. I give it a 10 out of 10. My, not my figure, of course. I get to admire it on key on the shelf. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for another episode of Figure Review. And thank you guys so much for stopping by. And, yeah. Thank you guys so much. And you guys have a great day. Bye.